And right now at six, a disappointing report card for CMS. New data shows about half of CMS students are not performing at grade level. That's how we started the news at six. Thanks for coming back. I'm Colin Mayfield and I'm Vanessa Rufus. Many of these students are falling behind in math and reading and many districts across the state are seeing the same drop. WCNC Charlotte Shamari Morrison has been digging through those numbers today. So Shay, how does CMS compare to the rest of North Carolina? Well, overall, the district is in line with uh, state scores in some areas. They're seeing higher gains and others just slightly lower. I want to show you this. Let's start with reading scores there. These are the fourth. I'm sorry. These are the third through eighth grade students at CMS and more than half 52.3% as you see there of those CMS students are below grade level. That's more than the state average where the data is at 49.8% that are below grade level. I want to also show you math as well. It's the same story when it comes to math. 46.9% of those students are below grade level at CMS, and that's compared to all North Carolina students, where 47% of those students are below grade level. Now, when it came to improving on its math and reading scores from last year to this school year, CMS did beat out state averages, but school leaders say there's just a lot more to do. This is not good enough which is what I've said before, um, we, it, it will take a collective effort for us to move the needle, to raise the bar. We are all committed. And Colin Vanessa, CMS says it does have extra staff and resources allocated to make sure it reached those students who are seeing those lower gains. Uh, I'll give it back to you all. You can also actually have extra data on what all those uh, schools did and how they have shaken, shaken up uh, on our website. All right, Shay, we'll look for that. We appreciate that report as well as you dug into that uh, data as well. And so from these report cards, the stuff that we were digging into to see how your child's school actually did, text the word schools to 704-329-3600. We'll send a link to an article straight to your smartphone. Meanwhile, in the Palmetto State, education leaders have put out the results from their state testing last year, and the data shows some improvement, but also some declines across the board. Leaders say more students met or exceeded expectations in English that surpasses pre-pandemic levels. With math, test results improved from last year, but are still not as high as pre-pandemic scores. If you'd like to have an in-depth look at these scores, we do have that story as well on our website and inside our mobile app.